Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back. Problem seven point thirteen. The statement of problem is that for given a state of stress, determine the normal and shearing stress after the element has been rotated through an angle 25 degree clockwise and 10 degree counterclockwise. So let's start with the given data. In given data, we have given that sigma x is which is not available over here. So sigma x is equal to 0 sigma y which is equal to 8 ksi and tau of xy is equal to plus 5 ksi so this is tau of xy and this is sigma y clear now we will have to find the part one is sigma x dash sigma y dash and tau of x dash y dash when theta is equal to 25 degree clockwise after uh, rotating the element through 25 degree so stress will be transformed and so we have to find this stress and the part b is again the same to find sigma x dash sigma y dash and tau of x dash y dash for angle theta for theta is equal to 10 degree ccw ccw means counter clockwise direction there so let's start with the solution okay so first i will write the formulas for Finding the transform stresses. So let me write these as well. So we know that thickness. So we know that sigma x dash transform stress in x direction is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 cos of 2 theta plus tau of x y sin of 2 theta and sigma y dash is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 sorry not this this is again sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 cos of 2 theta and minus tau of x y sin of 2 theta there and sharing stress tau of x dash y dash is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 sine of 2 theta plus tau of x y cos of 2 theta so we will be using this formulas for finding out our transform stress so part first so we have to find sigma x dash sigma y dash and top x dash y dash when theta is equal to 25 degree counterclockwise so counter clock, uh, sorry 25 degree clockwise so clockwise is taken as negative so here you can see the theta is 2 theta so we will convert it into 2 theta so 2 theta will be equal to minus 50 degree again there are certain terms that we can calculate it uh, so sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 again sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 is sigma x is 0 and sigma y is 8 
सो जीरो प्लस एट डिवाइड बाई टू विच इज इक्वल टू फोर क्लियर एंड सिगमा एक्स माइनस सिगमा वाई डिवाइड बाई टू एंड अगेन दिस इज जीरो माइनस एट डिवाइड बाई टू विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर क्लियर सो यू हैव टू पुट लेट दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू एंड दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री सो फॉर फाइंडिंग सिग्मा एक्स डैश यू हैव टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टू टीटा एस सिग्मा एक्स प्लस सिग्मा वाई ओवर टू सिग्मा ओ एक्स माइनस सिग्मा वाई ओवर टू इन इक्वेशन वन सो वेन यू पुट इट सो सिग्मा एक्स डैश विल बी इक्वल टू दिस दिस वैल्यू इज फोर सो फोर एंड दिस वैल्यू इज माइनस फोर सो माइनस फोर इन टू कॉज ऑफ माइनस फिफ्टी डिग्री प्लस टॉ ऑफ एक्स वाई टॉ ऑफ एक्स वाई इज फाइव सो यू कैन सी टॉ ऑफ एक्स वाई इज फाइव सो फाइव इन टू साइन ऑफ माइनस फिफ्टी डिग्री सो सिग्मा एक्स डैश कम्स आउट टू बी माइनस टू पॉइंट फोर जीरो के एस आई नाउ सिगमा वाई डैश सो अगेन सिगमा वाई इज दिस equation number 2 so this value is 4 so 4 and this value is minus uh, minus plus so you can see this is uh, this equation so this is minus 4 again let me check it okay so this was plus 4 this was minus 4 now here you can see there is a minus and this value is again minus 4 so it will be plus 4 so plus 4 into cos of minus 50 degree minus tau of xy which is 5 so sin of minus 50 degree clear so when you solve it sigma y dash comes out to be 10.40 ks i now tau of x dash y dash so tau of x dash y dash so this is minus uh, uh sorry this value is sigma x minus sigma y over 2 is minus 4 so this will minus minus will be plus so 4 into sin of minus 50 degree plus 5 tau of x y is 5 cos of minus 50 degree so when you calculate it it will be 0.1498 ksi again if you want to represent them on transform section so i can represent it over you for you so this is x and this is initial y x and y so when you rotate it minus 25 degree over here because it is so this is let this is minus 25 so this is x dash and this is y dash and this angle is 25 degree clockwise clear so your element will look like this now you will having sigma x dash which will be this one this will be sigma x dash clear sigma y dash will be this one okay this will be sigma y dash clear and tau of x dash y dash will be this one this will be tau of x dash y dash you can choose the value from here so sigma x is minus 22.4 ksi so again the direction of sigma x will be compressive clear so it will be compressive so sigma x is minus 2.40 sigma y is 
positive value which is 10.4 and top x y and top x dash y dash is 0 0.1498 clear now we will move toward part b so again for part b as we know that sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 is equal to 4 and sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 is minus 4 and in part 2 that is given as theta is 10 degree counterclockwise clear so theta will be positive so again 2 theta will be equal to 20 degree so again we will just replace theta 2 theta with 20 degree so instead of going over this formula so you can also just put the value of 2 theta on this equation so sigma x dash will be equal to 4 minus 4 cos of 20 degree plus 5 sin of 20 degree so when you calculate it sigma x dash is 1.951 ksi clear similarly sigma y dash is equal to so you have to just replace minus 50 with 20 because the formula is same so minus uh, plus 4 plus 4 into cos of 20 degree plus sorry not plus minus because it is minus minus 5 into sine of 20 degree so it with sigma y is 6.05 ksi and tau of x dash y dash is equal to 4 into sine of 20 degree plus 5 into sine of, into cos of cos of sorry cos of 20 degree so this will give you 6.07 ksi so when you rotate the element through 10 degree clock uh, counter clockwise so transform stress sigma x dash sigma y dash and top x dash y dash are have been calculated so if you again if you want to represent them over the transform condition or in transform condition so you can write so this is your original x and y now for at angle of 10 degree counter clockwise so this will be your x dash and similarly perpendicular to x dash will be your y dash so now element has been rotated through this angle clear so this will be your in x direct in x dash direction perpendicular to this phase this will be sigma x dash and since it is positive so it is tensile so this is sigma x dash now sigma y dash is again positive so it will be in y dash direction perpendicular to this surface so this is sigma y dash mm -hmm. and the shear stre sharing stress is top x dash y dash which will be like this one this will be your tau of x dash y dash and you can write the value given over here i hope you have enjoyed this video in coming videos we will solve this problem by using mohor circle as well when we will move toward the mohor circle problem we will solve these problems by using mohor circle and then you will be able to differentiate which one is easy for you I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching.